Uh, my name is Radosław Koszewski. Together with me, there are uh, Marzena Bielecka, uh, a very experienced investor, uh, a businesswoman, and Piotr Kamiński, a very experienced uh, businessman and executive, uh, who is also the president of uh, Queen Hedwig Scholarship Foundation. Uh, you will have uh, about five minutes, no more than five minutes for your presentation. And each of us uh, will have about one up to two minutes uh, for Q&A. Okay. Uh, the floor is yours. Okay, so what can I say? Um, in the first place, I need to introduce myself. And, you know, uh, my name is Magdalena Podkówka. I'm a teacher at the first grammar school in Karlov. Um, and I'm very happy. I haven't been teaching here for a long time. I started in September last year, but I'm very happy because I get to teach students who really want to learn. And it's so rewarding, I have to say. And previously, I taught in different types of schools, including uh, the language school, where I have to say I learned how to teach because language schools usually focus on communication on, on the practical side and I try to smuggle some of the methods I try not to concentrate on Matura only I try to teach students how to get by in a real life situation and I think it's really important especially these days if they are thinking about a career abroad um, I was not always a teacher. I had a time on my, if my, on my, in my life that uh, I uh, went abroad. I spent about five years in the UK. Uh, it was Belfast and I worked at Belfast City Airport. Obviously, it was far from teaching. My job was uh, an aviation security officer. And uh, obviously, my duties were connected with getting passengers safe on the plane. But I really appreciated the fact that I taught in an English, in a natural English speaking environment because uh, I got to speak to people from different parts of the UK, um, get to know different accents, which was not always easy at the beginning because you leave Poland and you think that you know English, but when you try to speak with people from different places in the UK. It is quite hard at the very beginning, but I think it gave me the necessary experience. Well, apart from teaching, I have to say I'm also very keen on traveling, especially um, I have my favorite country in Scandinavia, which is Finland. I've visited Finland a few times and I'm completely fascinated with their culture, with their music and the closeness of nature, especially because they have a completely different attitude to, you know, everything basically. But I love the serenity and, and, and um, the landscapes. And I have to say that I left my heart there. Uh, and my other passion, is uh, rock music, um, namely hard rock and heavy metal music. I've been listening to it since I remember, since I, was, since I was probably about 14 or 15. I still go to concerts and um, unfortunately my students do not seem to share the same passion because they are from a completely different generation. So I guess these are the most um, you know, important information uh, about me. So thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Kaminski, may I ask you for your questions? Okay. If, if, you, if you're so interested in uh, rock music um, and you say that you, your students are not sure the same, what would you like to do to, to, to move them to, to, yeah. to, to this love? <laughs> You know, I, t I tell them stories from the times when I was their age, uh, for example, going to concerts and comparing what it is like now, because these days kids seem to be completely static during concerts. You know, they are focusing on recording and taking photos. And I say to them that it doesn't really make any sense because you won't be looking at these photos anymore after the concert. So I try to encourage them to enjoy the moment whenever they get a chance. Plus, when it comes to music, for example, I try to, from time to time, use, um, I used to do it a lot when I taught in, um, in the language school, because of course we had a little different methods there. But for example, if you're introducing some grammar point, like the passive, you can use music and you, can, you could in a way encourage them to, to dig deeper, you know. It's, it doesn't mean that everybody will, um, 
will do it because, as I said, it's a completely different generation. And I don't think they feel it the way we did when we were younger, of course. But I try. Thank you. Thank you very thank much, you. Marzena. Uh, thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, and uh, I can see that um, you have a very uh, comprehensive uh, experience and skills. Uh, what I was lacking in your presentation, information about um, your experience in organizing uh, trips, mm -hmm. uh, taking care about students, log logistics, and this kind of uh, issues, which are uh, in case of um, this scholarship uh, is also quite important. So I would oh. appreciate if you can uh, elaborate on that, please. Yeah, well, um, I think that one of the advantages for me would be the fact that I worked at the airport. Uh, so because in, it involves traveling to the US, knowing the procedures and being confident at the airport is definitely an advantage. I haven't traveled with students abroad, but I have traveled in places within Poland and I supervised, I have chaperoned uh, school trips and um, I did not really come across any problems. Of course, I was not alone, but I think I have a good report with students and I haven't experienced any, anything negative so far. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, imagine uh, you are in California with a whole group. Uh, all other teachers uh, are sick. They had to stay in a hotel. Uh, and you go to Google. Um, the, the vice president of Google is meeting you five minutes in advance uh, of the meeting with the whole group. Uh, and ask you, what, what do you want me to tell to the group? Okay. I think that I don't think I would be the person who could suggest uh, the vice president of Google what they should talk about to a group because they know better than I do, I guess. But yeah, what I would imagine him to tell. Uh, I, I, can, I can assure you, the, the, uh -huh. because when I'm with the group there, they're asking me. What, what do you want me to tell them? Okay, definitely something. Really? Yeah, de definitely something to inspire them because I think that having oh. that um, through the way he, I think that that you know, I think that meeting people, uh, people like this, people who are in power, who are in charge of such an organization, is an experience on its own and uh, one of our students from previous year she uh, after being in qualified to your scholarship decided to study in the states in boston uh, namely and i think that you know meeting people uh, abroad is is very very precious anyway no matter what they hear but i think that um i think that i would imagine uh that would be a good idea if they talked about their experience, how they started and show them that anything is possible. And if you try really hard, if you have enough confidence, if you get the support, because I think that it's very important to recognize the students' needs because this is what they need at the very beginning. Okay. Maybe this way. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and now, uh, now the time for the feedback, if I may ask uh, Piotr Kaminski, very short. I love your energy and uh, optimistic uh, view uh, and um, I congratulate also your students, um, they were really good um, and I keep my fingers to, 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 to meet uh, in the trip. Thank you. Thank you very much, thank you for your kind words. Marzana? I must say that also uh, <laughs> I appreciate very much your energy and uh, uh, your uh, interest in uh, different kind of uh, things uh, also in your life, which I'm, I believe from what you said, you are trying to pass on to your students and uh, this is a very important thing. That's Thank right. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, Professor, you are among top teachers in Poland, really. Uh, the, 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 we see that the level is exceptional. Um, uh, for us, uh, it means a headache. Uh, uh, whom to, to select uh, for the trip? Uh, before, if I may ask you, 
uh, tell your students and friends uh, to vote for you uh, in social media. Uh, yeah. Because I, as I can see at the very high level of uh, all teachers, uh, social media most probably will prevail. Yeah, yeah. These are the times we're living in, so we can't live without the influence of social media. Thank you very much for your words. Uh, in about one week, uh, or maybe longer, you shall know the result. Okay. okay. Once again, thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you for you having me. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you.